Ah, in focus. Right, folks. Um, I went up the co-op today at dinner. We needed some bread and we needed some milk. And uh, I bought some peanuts. And uh, what else did I buy? Bought June some Rebels. Uh, I bought... Uh, oh, fuck knows what I bought. But what I did buy, as I walked by the beer thing, um, I bought two cans of Brew Dog. Now, I am not turning this channel into a beer thing. I'm going to straighten my camera though, because that's getting on my tits. Them pictures weren't straight at the back. I'm not turning this into a beer channel, because I know absolutely nothing about beer. Ain't that right, June? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I know what I like, I'll drink what I like, and that's what it is. But, these two cans of Brew Dog... Um, they caught my eye. I think this is the problem with a lot of these uh, beers, is that the packaging is rather good. A bit like me. Ain't that right, June? Yeah. What? <laughs> what are you laughing at? She was laughing at my packaging. Unbelievable. Uh, so what it is, folks, I've found these. Can you see what they are? There we go. Uh, one is a Brewdog Jackhammer. So I was thinking of uh, Goldberg, right? The wrestler. The I Hope X wrestler. And I bought Brewdog Layer Cake for the film Layer Cake. These two things have caught my eyes. Their packaging is rather impressive. A bit like mine, eh, June? Oh, I weren't listening, sorry. Oh, I says, these packaging on these cans of beer is rather impressive, a bit like mine. Yeah, I heard you say that. Yeah, but forget it, the moment's gone. Uh, so what I've done, uh, I've picked these up, obviously. I've paid for them as well. Uh, one is 7%, and the other is 7.2. Um, I did have the price on there, but it was two for a fiver. So what's that work out then? Two for a fiver, June? Two pound fifty. Two pound fifty. Um, so, I'm going to take the layer cake one. Apparently, this is Wanda's favourite beer at the moment over on Scott and Wanda's World. Um, so, I'm sorry, Wanda, but I don't think I'm going to like. Well, it's got marshmallow and chocolate stout. What do you think to that, June? I don't know. I'll have a sip in a minute. She's going to have a sip in a minute. The visually impaired, I have opened the can on camera. I am pouring it into the glass on camera. It looks like a pint of co op Coke. It's a 440 milliliter can, it's got Chinese or Japanese writing on the side. Um, have your cake and drink it. So, let's sup in. Well, let's sniff in first. Smells very sweety, chocolatey, marshmallowy. So, they've got that bit right. I'm not getting no yeast or hops or whatever it is. I'm just getting the smell of sweetness. Let's sup in. Try that, June. I know that was coming. Well, you did actually sit in there and say, I'll try a bit in a minute. What are you staggering around like your hips have been placed out for? Because <laughs> your feet hurt. Dry and oh, that's sweet. Nice. You like that, do you? Mm. I think I do, anyway. Yeah, I'm the same. I think I do like it, but I'm not sure. It's just that slight aftertaste to it. That's it. It's a dry, bittery aftertaste. Yeah. But I do like the taste while the it's initial, in my mouth. The initial, the initial taste is really sweet. Yeah. 
and then you get a dry bitterness. And the dry bitterness spoils it for me. Yeah, and that's what I was trying to say, and June's said it. June often uh, talks for me. I may as well have her hand up my arse. She wish. Do you want another sip? Can you pass me my vape, please? It's Sunday afternoon and I want to vape. Okay. It's all right, we're just uploading a video. <clears throat> uh, so now, moving on swiftly to the Jackhammer. Um, it's a United We Stand Better Beer, ferociously, uh, fiercely defiant and independent. Sounds like me. We'll leave that one there. To the bitter end. It used to be a pub in Loughborough called the Bitter End. I think yeah, it was the gym. Was it the uh, windmill as well? Was it called the windmill? I don't know. Might have been the windmill. I've never seen a windmill in Loughborough. Um, so this one is again in a 440 milliliter can. It's 7.2. Um, so you don't want any more of this marshmallow stuff. <laughs> Took me all afternoon to drink this gin. Right, for the visually impaired, I've just puffed on my vape. Uh, so it's brew dog, it's, it's brewed in Elon. Does he own uh, spacecrafts and cars and stuff? Elon Musk. That's him. Have you seen these satellites up, upstairs? Have you seen these satellites going over when there's about 60 of them all in a row just following each other? Absolutely amazing. Oh, I, thought, I thought we were being invaded when I first seen it. Convoy of satellites. Convoy. Uh, rubber dick. Rubber dick. <laughs> 10 2, rubber dick. 10 4, good for it. Mm. That looks like the foam you get on Mablethorpe Beach. Does, doesn't it? All it needs is a starfish and seaweed and a dog turd floating <laughs> by, and it's there, isn't it? There's always jellyfish on the beach at Mablethorpe, mm. isn't there? That's one I think I need to wipe my lens. Um, oh, fuck me. Fucking citrus. Good name, is it? They have some good names, though, don't they? They do, and the packaging's brilliant. Go on then. Have a go. You have a go first. I dare. I'm scared. I've just had a revel. Oh it yeah. Was a, it what was taste. it? Chocolate or toffee? No, no, it was one of the ones that are a bit like a minstrel, but not oh, just right. chocolate. That ain't bad for a citrus one. It's not bad. It might, have a revel first. That might help. Well, let me have a go without a revel, on, and then I'll go with that. a revel. And then have a revel. See, a beer's a bit like wine. The taste changes with whatever you're eating. It's like cheese, isn't it? It just smells of citrus to me. Just don't smell it. Hold your nose. Try a rebel. Suck it. Get all the goodness out of it. Now I'll try. I bet it needs a bit of lime in it. I can't drink citrusy beers. I just don't understand. No, that is wrong. I can drink citrusy beer, but that is just like drinking pure neat i may as well just have a lime in my mouth and just in fact it's still there that does to you what pineapple does to you isn't it? yeah i can't drink that it's well i won't tip it down the sink because it's beer and i've paid for it where are you going i'm gonna give you a lemonade top she's gonna give me a lemonade top pour the rest on in or is it all in no it's anything. pour it all in Now you big girl's blouse 
I'll try. And it's, I do look, I don't dislike citrusy beers, right? I, I can drink them, I can tolerate them and everything like that. I like the Stone Cold one. I liked uh, Robbie Knox's IPA, uh, Binday IPA. I like that, the one that he sent us, because that was all right, weren't it? It was, yeah. Because it wasn't over the top. Well, that, I may as well just bite on a, a lime and just, that's it. Inject it with vodka and just eat the lime. I don't understand. The need to put. Well, that's because you're not an expert. Well, am I an expert, or do I just, or is it just the trend? Is it like the Emperor's New Clothes? It might be. Where if you don't like it, then you're thinking. Mm. Oh, that's made it worse. No. No, no that's I... made it better. Mm. Not to me, it hasn't. I think I'll stick with the Rebels. It must have been the Rebel that made it taste all right to me first time round. Because mm. that now is really it's sour. I just don't. I don't. Know. It? It's not even sour. Is no, it? it's bitter. It makes it's it bitter. Really bitter. It's, the, it's, it's the, just. I just don't understand it. Please, you beer tubers, experts out there, who know everything about it, try and explain to me what is the attraction of putting citrusy whatever into it's beers. Like, is it hops? Citra hops? Or Citra hops. I just don't understand it. Is it because... Well, the big... It's gassy. <clears throat> is it because it's what's left over from something and you don't want to waste it? I just don't understand how people can drink it. You, I know you acquire a taste of something over a certain time. When I was growing up, when I was 18 and that, I, and I took into lager, Right, piss poor lager, forex, skull, all them. Drank the lot, right? Stupid amounts. Then I moved on to Guinness. Not liking Guinness. Now, absolutely love Guinness. Bitter. Weren't a fan of bitter. Now, I can drink bitter. I can drink pedigree and everything. But this, I just don't understand the attraction of drinking something that makes you want to screw your face up like an empty bag of Walker's plain crisps. What is it? Please, somebody tell me what the... Is it that you have to drink something that's dry, bitter, and you then and then you look there and you go, oh yeah, it's nice smell, and I'm getting the I'm getting the hops, and I'm getting this, and I'm getting that. I'm getting piss. It just doesn't weigh up. Come on. Were you talking to Twoodle? Yeah, he's licking the carpet. Oh God, that dog's a knob. So I just don't understand it, folks. Please, please, just let me know. Um, I just don't understand why you just can't have a nice lager, a nice simple bitter. I want to have my own beer. I want to have a BVM range of, uh, of lager, right? Well, you see, I quite like a bitter as well. Yeah. Well, I've told uh, Dylan when he goes up the pub to put a lemonade in Gingy's bitter in, to, to make it more um appealing for her yeah so she don't down a bloody jack daniels in 20 seconds like a dad because that's where she gets it from so i just don't understand it i don't understand it i, I just don't understand it i don't understand why people want to drink a beer that tastes like this and is it like the emperor's clothes do you just like it for the sake of liking it to be in that little community or do you actually sit there and think yeah that's really nice that's really great I just don't like it out. I don't get it anything that makes you do that that's the Andrew's liver salts makes me do that comments down below folks do you agree with me or disagree with me do you agree that something with citrusy hops in it just basically ruins a drink or does it actually improve it or does it is that your taste of what you want to drink when I had the beer orc thing and I had to review some of the citrusy beers I just couldn't work it out what the attraction was that electric boogaloo why so 
Okay, folks, thank you for that. Thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, we'll just leave that there because I can't see the point in it. Laters.